watching Riders Quest. My name is Madhukar. Today we are going to review the BMW S1000XR. Let's do a quick walk around the motorcycle. It's a gorgeous looking motorcycle, especially in the racing red. At the front, has very sharp edges that gives it an aggressive look. You have full LED headlights as standard and also an adjustable windscreen as standard. Because this has the premium package, you also get the auxiliary lights that you see at the sides and you also get the adaptive, adaptive headlights. In the front, you have 17 inch wheels which are 3.5 inches wide. You have 320mm discs with 4 piston calipers. On the side, you have a single exhaust. At the rear, again, you have the 17 inch wheels that are 6 inches wide. You have 265 mm discs with two piston calipers. It has a sharp tail that gives it a sports bike look. The handlebars are positioned in such a way that you could drive long distances in comfort. Yeah, the seats could do with some more cushioning. Let's have a look at the controls. Uh, it's pretty standard layout on all BMW models. On the left, you have the swivel wheel and the menu button to operate the TFT. You have the suspension adjustment, the hazard light, the cruise control, indicators and the horn. You also have the auxiliary light button on the left. On the right, the engine start stop button, the right mode selector, heated trips button. Uh, and in the middle you have this beautiful TFT display which is very crisp and clear even in on this bright sunny day I can see that very clearly and it's very easy to operate um, with the controls on the left even when you're driving this display is one of the best in the business let's hear the engine <laughs> So the engine is the 1000cc engine, it's derived from the flagship sports motorcycle from BMW, the S1000RR. In the S1000RR, uh, the engine makes about 205 horsepower with 83 pound-feet of torque. On the XR, it's been tuned down to 165 horsepower, but you get two more torques at 85 pound-feet. The engine is a little buzzy, on the long distance you feel you need another gear. But make no mistake, the acceleration will not disappoint you. It has plenty of power, the gear shifts are smooth, with the optional gear shift pro, it's even better. Let's check out the acceleration. Yeah, it's not bad. The 320mm front and the 265mm rear brakes offer good stopping power. This is marketed by BMW in the adventure touring category. On these road tires, I don't think you can go off-road. It's a good sports touring option. You can cover reasonable distances on this. In addition to that, it's very nimble and and it doesn't even though it's 490 pounds. It doesn't feel that heavy. With the premium package, you get the heated grips, you get cruise control, you get the tire pressure monitor, uh, the GPS preparation, keyless ride, and the hand production that you see here.
if you are the type of person who does track days you definitely won't be disappointed with this motorcycle it can keep up with most sports bikes out there very well balanced nimble yet comfortable as i said earlier the seats could be more comfortable again i understand why they haven't taken the crowd to give a nice sporty feel on the track with the dynamic electronic stability adjustment the suspension adjusts automatically and depending on the weight on the bike the preload also adjusts automatically depending on your braking lean angle acceleration throttle and the brake position the ESA is doing 100 calculations per second and adjusting the suspension automatically for you Overall it's a good sport storing motorcycle that will keep you engaged and happy on the track. You cannot compare this to a Multistrada or a BMW 1250 GS or a KTM 1290. They are more comfortable and they are more capable off-road. The only direct competitor I see to this one is the Yamaha Tracer 9 GT according to me but Yamaha is not as powerful as this one The starting price for this one is about $19,000 If you want a fast sports touring machine with BMW quality and if you can afford the price tag this definitely will not disappoint you If you want something with more off-road capability then you need to go for the BMW 850 GS or the 1250 GS and the others in that category. So if you want something sporty this definitely is not a bad choice. So folks that concludes our review of the S1000 XR. Thank you very much for watching. If you like our videos please click like, subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified regarding new uploads. Thank you.